Welcome everyone. Today we've got tons of stuff to cover, including the potential of Five Nights at Freddy's coming to Fortnite, the disabling of a Fortnite skin that I may have been a reason why it got disabled. I'll explain later in this video. Details on an up and coming Valentine's update and an update on the mysterious hacked tweets from Fortnite and information on the Fox Clan all in this video. If you're watching right now and you want to see Five Nights at Freddy's skins in Fortnite, hit that thumbs up button, smash it, show this video some love while you down there don't forget to subscribe we've got so much news to get into so let's kick it off with how i may have helped a skin get disabled well it wasn't really my fault epic games basically didn't implement this thing properly if you did not know the boundless skin set which is known as the customizable superhero skins in fortnite had the ability to go all one color and the all white or the all black skin was deemed a little bit pay to win you can sit in shadows basically wasn't very fair fortnite record this and went ahead and changed it so that the skin couldn't have two black parts or two white parts or at least they tried in yesterday's update video I went to show you guys how it had been changed and I managed to make my skin go all black I thought maybe that was just a little bit of a bug but no they actually didn't patch the skin properly and it has since been disabled again so that skin should be returning at some point just in case you're wondering where it's gone now for now adding in a load of awesome exotics a new POI you wouldn't think I'd be talking about a new update Update this soon, but I am with Valentine's Day around the corner. Fortnite are already gearing up for it. The inevitable return of the Love Heart crossbow, I think, is a definite, but that's not all. Some of the files that were added into the game with the newest update have the tag Valentine's.2021. Yes, more challenges for a new Valentine's event and update coming in the very near future, probably within the next week or so, is really cool. So, what are we going to get? which of these files are tied to these unlocks. The first one we know of is a GG emote with a love heart. We've also got real love with fish sticks. Everyone loves fish sticks. One like equals one heart for poor fish sticks. Heart breakers, heart's desire wrap, which looks very clean. And then also two banner icons, one on fire and one as a love heart as a bomb. Why are these love hearts so destructive? But by far the coolest and probably the last to unlock is the breathless blade. I don't know about you guys, but this looks very drift inspired with its design with the pink with the gold Potentially tied in with the new crew V skin and the storyline We're gonna get onto a little bit more in this video tied in with the Fox clan They look really awesome and once you've done all the challenges this will most likely be the last unlock. I like it We've already had a sneak peek at new Valentine skins that we're coming out including the cuddle king and the lovely skin Which I both think look utterly awesome. Don't forget popping code alley in the Fortnite item store takes a few seconds and if you do it let me know you can get a shout out in front of millions of people you can also use code alia on the epic game store and cod store as well so thank you everyone your support is amazing see everything new in the valentine's update first make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on if you haven't already seen me mess around with the chug cannon and also the burst quad launch of the two newest exotics to the fortnite world you can see yesterday's video and in case you missed it a third one the frozen smg was also added into the game as an exotic just was enabled yet. I wouldn't be surprised if this was enabled next week or at some point over the next few weeks or so. You can see a little bit of an early preview here. It seems to give you ice feet as you shoot it. How useful that is is quite debatable, but even more exotics come into the game. Now, just before we talk about the possibility of Five Nights at Freddy in Fortnite and also take an early look at the next portal, I want to talk about a big part of the Fortnite story that as quickly as it appeared, people seem to have forgotten about it. And it is the Fortnite hacked tweets. If you did not know, about a week ago or so now, Fortnite essentially had their Twitter account taken over and a warning message was sent out regarding the Fox Clan. You can see some of the tweets on screen here. The message is sent out by V, who is the February crew skin, and the message was sent out to Drift and also the female counterpart skin Catalyst, because they have masks on that matches the Fox Clan, they were in danger just as V is in danger as well. Whilst discussing this, we also covered the fact that the Fortnite's Twitter banner changed to what looked to be like Lucky Landing from the first chapter, and how if Lucky Landing was merged into the current Fortnite world, it would overlap with Misty Meadows. One of the big things about Misty Meadows at the moment is that the NPC that is there is Condor, one of the Battle Pass skins. We've talked about Condor recently because the rap that is a so 
associated with him has the same markings as the cube on it. We believe the cube is going to return at some point this season, if not definitely next season, to match up with all of the cubey things that happened in the previous chapter. Now, this awesome post by Puddy on Reddit is really, really good, putting together everything we've just said and tying the storyline together. So first up, we always thought we were the trackers, but something is tracking us down. Something old, something bad. Can't lie, no one really had an idea of who this thing was that was tracking down the Fox Clan and why V would be in trouble and as a result, why Drift would be in trouble. Now, you could say that the Lucky Landing location is Japanese, Chinese inspired and also the masks are of similar inspiration as well. And the interesting thing is, if we take a look at Condor's description, it says, Spirit of Vengeance, gift to an ancient ruler, none has escaped his sight. Handed down ruler to ruler throughout the centuries, the vengeful spirit is known as Condor. Also, there is Japanese samurai equipment in Hunter's Haven. Now, how this ties together really well is that it basically backs up the fact that we should see Lucky Landing and Misty Meadows start to come together. Because if V and the Fox Clan are running away and being hunted by Condor, they're about to smash right on top of each other in the exact same location in the Fortnite map. I really like this theory. I think it's got a lot of accuracy to it. And keep an eye on the Fortnite map for potential changes coming very soon. Now, what about new hunters coming to the Fortnite map? At the end of yesterday's update video, I showed you the newest location for the next portal. At the time of recording, it hasn't started to form yet, but we know where it's going to end up, and we also know the name of this portal as well. Keep an eye over the next few days as a stem from the center zero point should start coming off of it and eventually land here and also show us an image into the portal, giving us even more information on what's coming next. But the portal itself is called Mainframe. A lot of people are guessing this is related to the Matrix with the Mainframe and the alternate realities within the Matrix. I think it's a very, very good guess and would line up with some of the teasers that we got from Agent Jonesy's backpack. The red and the blue sweets, the red and the blue pill, is something we've predicted in the time with the Matrix series for a long time now. The Matrix is also getting a new film due to come out this year, so it all tie in with the promotion and Fortnite. I think it is a good shout as to what this portal will end up teasing. But what if I told you I had information and lots of teasers hinting towards Five Nights at Freddy potentially getting some sort of collaboration or even being a hunter to this season. It's safe to say that the Five Nights at Freddy animatronics are very scary and tried to hunt you down as a person looking after the pizza place all night. For those of you guys that haven't played it, I played it on my second channel a few years ago. So it's a scary game, but the animatronics are infamous within the gaming world now. And Hypex managed to find some encrypted hidden files with the code name French Fries. For those of you who don't know, the code name, the first letter, always associates to the real meaning of the file in game. So French fries, F and F, could potentially be linked to Fazbear or even Foxy as potential skins coming to Fortnite. And these sound files were found in game as well. Listen to that. Potentially, the sound of the Five Nights at Freddy animatronics running towards you to hunt you down. But that is not all. Shout out to Fort Blocks on Twitter for this great idea who sent me a picture from my video saying, what if the tokens could be Faz tokens from Five Nights at Freddy's, indicating that one of the teasers that I was sent, the tokens are tied to Five Nights at Freddy's. If we take a look at these tokens, they are gold. Uh, they are tokens. I, I mean, this could be a direct correlation with this teaser and further backing up the idea of Five Nights at Freddy's in Fortnite. Now, for the final bit of information I want to cover here, take it with a pinch of salt because it has potential to be epic, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Either way, the brand new creative hub has been updated and there's some cool little Easter eggs in here that could be hinting at some epic future skins. Also, just a little bit of a teaser, something very cool coming soon for creative that I can share with all of you. You can all jump in and play coming soon to the channel. You don't want to miss it, but that's not the teaser for skins. Located in these new creative maps with the collaboration between NFL and Fortnite, we can see images and posters like these. On screen here, thanks to Nutella on Twitter, we can actually see all of them. I mean, they look epic. We've got a roaring bear. We've got a bull 
bulldog, we've got a lion, we've got what looks to be some sort of jacketed demon, and maybe my favorite is this awesome robotic skin down here, very similar to Season X. Whether or not this is teasing Fortnite skins, I'm not sure. If this has any ties to the names of the NFL skins, I'm a little bit ignorant there. I can't lie. Maybe this is just cool artwork to tie in with the name of any teams within the NFL. But if these end up being awesome Fortnite skins, they would be utterly incredible. This could be our first look at them as well. What do you think? Do you want these guys to end up being Fortnite skins? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. So, tons of exciting stuff happening in Fortnite in the moment. It is epic. More videos on screen here. The latest news and information to see everything else going on in Fortnite. Click your favorite video. I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching.